With just one click, you can now launch the town notebooks directly to Google Colab. And what's great is that you don't need to set up any infrastructure. You can experiment faster by modifying the various Jupyter notebooks that we give for computer vision and for conversational AI. And again, once you've played around with the different models and notebooks, you can move that over to a powerful Google Cloud instance or download it so that you can further train and optimize it on your own infrastructure. Let's see how this works with the help of a short demo. Start from the NGC catalog where all the tower resources are located. Clicking on the YOLO v4 link will launch the notebook into Google Colab. Before we start, let's make sure that it's connected to the instance shown here. Let's also make sure that the runtime is set to GPU. Go to runtime, change runtime, and select GPU from the list. The first cell here will mount the drive to your Google Drive, either to your work or your personal drive. And running these next cells will set the environment variables to specify your model and the associated results folders. I've already downloaded the data to my drive as shown here, so I'll skip these steps. Let's get our pre-trained model for this task. Executing the next few cells will install the NGC CLI, which will help us connect to the NGC catalog. It will then download the model, store it in the appropriate directory, and finally verify its location. This next step will download and install the Python packages needed for training. This will take some time, so grab a cup of coffee or tea. Now that the Python packages have been installed, Let's reset the environment variables for cleaner task execution. Running these next two cells will help convert the data into the format required for training. Before we start training, let's modify the training spec file. Here, I can set the training batch size, the number of epochs, the learning rate, and many other parameters. I've also enabled TensorBoard visualization to view the model progress. And for this run, I'm going to simply use the default settings. Once we verify the specs by running the cell, we are now ready to start the training. Depending on how you've configured your training parameters, it may take some time to complete. Once the training has started, you can now visualize the progress in TensorBoard. To do that, you simply need to fire up a new notebook, connect to the Google Drive, enter the command shown to invoke TensorBoard, and link up the results log to show the results. Once the training is complete, you can evaluate the results. You can also continue to prune the model and retrain it to recover its lost accuracy. And if you're happy with the model's performance, you can go ahead and download the notebook to train it on your own infrastructure or any other cloud provider. Or you have the option to move it to a powerful instance on Google Cloud. That's it. Pretty straightforward to take a Tau notebook and experiment on Google Colab.